So the next thing that we want to talk about is monotone sequences. So this is a definition. It has two parts. So part one, part two. Okay. So a sequence an is monotone increasing if an is less than or equal to an plus 1 for all natural numbers n. And similarly, it's decreasing if an is bigger than or equal to an plus 1 for all natural numbers n. Right? So it's a very simple concept. It aligns fairly well with you know, what we understand for increasing and decreasing functions. Although we do allow, um, we don't insist on a strict inequality here. We allow less than or equal when we're dealing with, mono with sequences. So monotone increasing, monotone decreasing. Right? This condition here just says that the next term in the sequence has to be at least as big as the previous term, right? Here, the next term in the sequence has less than or equal, so these ones are getting smaller, these ones are getting bigger. Simple enough, right? Um, so there's an important theorem. Related to monotone sequences, bounded monotone sequences, which says, so, and collectively, we can say monotone if it's either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. And the theorem says the following. The theorem says every bounded monotone sequence converges. OK? So that's what the theorem states. So we mentioned before this previous theorem, we proved that every convergence sequence has to be bounded, and I warned that the converse is not true, right? Every bounded sequence is not necessarily convergent. Um, but if we do have a bounded monotone sequence, right, the added condition of mono monotonicity guarantees that you can't have this sequence that's jumping back and forth, right? Because um, it always has to be going up or always going down, okay? And so you're guaranteed convergence for every bounded monotone sequence. Um, we're not going to prove this theorem because a proof requires actually getting into, you know, um, careful sort of axiomatic definition of the real numbers. You have to talk about least upper bounds, least upper bound property of the real numbers. Um, but intuitively, it's pretty clear why this has to work, right? So if we think about a bounded monotone increasing sequence, right? So if it's increasing and bounded above, right? If that's our upper bound and our sequence is increasing, so maybe we start here, we go up, it's increasing, it's increasing, right? But we can't pass n, right? So each term has to get bigger, but we can't get any bigger than m. Right? We can't go back down because then we wouldn't be monotone increasing. We can't cross M because it's an upper bound. Right? And so the idea here is, is the way you would prove this is um, one of the properties that the real numbers have is that any sequence that is bounded above has a least upper bound. And so basically you would say, well, look, here's a, here's a sequence of numbers. It's bounded above. Um, we look for the least upper bound, and you can prove that that least upper bound has to be the limit. Right? Um, but then you've got to get into this discussion of least upper bound properties. Uh, and of course, for a, um, a sequence which is monotone decreasing and bounded below, well, it's going to do the same sort of thing, right? It's going to decrease down until we get closer and closer to that uh, lower bound, but we can't pass it, so we approach whatever the greatest lower bound is, and that's going to be the limit.